Hi, today we're going to talk about Google as an information tool. Most of you have probably used it, probably used it a lot, uh, so we're not going to spend a lot of time looking at it, but I do want to point out some things to you. The um, URL, google.com, and you just type in your search in the search box, and we'll make it a unit search term. Even though Google is not as particular as um, Quest or um, s the databases are about um, specifying that, we're just going to use Montgomery Bus Boycott as our search term. Wikipedia article comes up first thing. As we know, that is a uh, good choice for some background information. Um, this item I looked at earlier, I had not seen it before, but I clicked on it and it brought me to a fantastic site. Uh, the items in red are hypertext links that go to other uh, pieces of information, but they just jump out as terms I'm familiar with, people that I have um, know about that are connected to the boycott, the Montgomery Improvement Association, and um, etc. The list just goes on and on and on. It's uh, amazing. But a really cool feature of this website is the sidebar over here that has related documents. You'll notice that it has minutes from the meetings of the Montgomery Improvement Association. Click on the link and it takes you to the minutes. Uh, who was there that they decided to name themselves the Montgomery Improvement Association. These minutes happen to be from the initial meeting what their agenda was and what was discussed and what was decided. It's a great insight into who was there, who participated, what was important, how the progression developed over time as the uh, boycott went on and on. Great, great resource. All right, moving along, going, gonna go back here to our result list. How many results did we get? A million, 20,000. It's a lot of results. Okay, scrolling down. There are several things here. Um, I would be looking at the URLs and trying to decide which ones are valuable, uh, good quality resources. You want to look for things such as ORG in the uh, URL, the one that I showed you just a second ago. Has, is from Stanford University in California. Good um, authority. This one, MontgomeryBusBoycott.com. Hmm. Don't know. We'll see what it says. First of all, it's really hard to read. Don't like that. Enter the site here. It looks like um, a lot of information, timeline, biographies, news articles, quite a bit of information here. Looks like it could be a good, valuable site. Um, it's unfortunate, in my view, that it's a dot .com, but that's all right. Um, okay, let's look here. You can just search for images in Google. If you are doing a uh, graphic timeline, or a poster board, or um, a website of your own. You have lots of images from which to choose. You need to pay attention to copyright issues on these. There's a picture of the bus. Um, there are also videos, lots of them in YouTube, and news. Since this is a, a historic event, I'm not sure how useful the news section will be, but you might find something current that um, is relevant. News archive results for Montgomery Bus Boycott. Thursday, let's see, November 15th, 1956. Let's see what that is. Wow. Let me 
As you can see, it's a scan from a newspaper. The Ocala Star Banner in Ocala, Florida. And it's an article here about the decision to end the boycott. Interesting. I hadn't seen that on Google. So, as you can see, there are a lot of things here. Just keep in mind it is not the only option when looking for materials about research projects. You need to be very careful. For example, that site that we just looked at that has a .com, a lot of professors are going to tell you you can't use that because it's a .com. So be very careful about what you choose to use from the resources that you locate using Google.